Welcome to our first muscular system lab. Today's materials are a chicken wing and dissection tools, including possibly a scalpel, a probe, and definitely some scissors. Even though you're obviously familiar with chicken and dissecting it just for uh, cooking purposes, just make sure please that you wash your hands when you're finished or use gloves so you don't transfer bacteria around your house. And also make sure that you take your time because this lab won't work properly if you don't take your time while you're dissecting. Okay, so let's take a look at our chicken wing. You can see the shoulder joint up there is where it's been cut and some muscles and bones associated with that. The first step that you're going to do here is to take your scissors and make a long incision, very shallow, along the skin of the chicken wing and then we're going to remove all of the skin. Your scissors may have a sharp side and a blunt side. It may be helpful to put the blunt side down so that you're not cutting through the muscle. I'm going to be very careful just to remove the skin and not the muscle. And just this portion alone may take you about 10 minutes and that's okay. It's better to take your time and be careful so that you don't cut through anything you're going to want to look at later. So now you can see all the muscles of my chicken wing. And before we start talking about the muscles, take a look here at some blood vessels that you can actually see in my chicken wing. Those blood vessels supply blood to the muscles. So let's take a look at the muscles here. We've got the biceps and triceps and then the shoulder muscles up here. Some of those have been cut. And then we have the elbow joint and the wrist joint, just so that you can visualize what you're looking at. So the bicep muscle is found right here on the wing, and then the tricep muscle in the back. And you can actually contract the bicep muscle, causing the wing to move, just like if you contract your bicep muscle, your arm will flex. So you can try working on that, it's kind of fun. And as that bicep muscle flexes, the tricep on the back actually extends and relaxes. So let's take a look at the bicep muscle. You can see why it's called a bicep. It has two different muscles right there on the bicep. And then if we look at the tricep, as you might expect, there are three different muscle groups for the tricep giving it its name. And if you look at the end of the bicep, at the insertion of the bicep, you can see a silvery white layer, and that is the tendon that is attaching the bicep to the radius bone. All right, and the final step here is to remove the muscles of the wing to reveal the bones. Okay, so I've removed the muscles, and here you can see a thick white ligament that is attaching bone to bone there. And just to review some bones here from the skeletal system, we have the humerus, which is coming down from the shoulder to the elbow, and then the radius and the ulna. And the radius is the thinner of the two bones, ulna is the thicker of the two. And then you have the bones of essentially the hand of the chicken. Okay, so here I've cut through one of the ligaments on the elbow joint. You can see that white band right there. 
And you can see on the inside there that nice, smooth, shiny bone, the end of the bone, and that's covered with cartilage. That's why it feels so smooth. And you can see how nicely it fits together with the other two bones of the wing. So cut through your elbow joint and take a look at that. And then the very last thing that we're gonna do is cut through the radius. I suggest the radius because it's thinner, but be careful. And then you'll be able to see a cross section of the bone to see the bone marrow on the inside. And just as a reminder from the skeletal system, the bone marrow is where new red blood cells are formed in the bone marrow cavity. And that will wrap up our chicken wing dissection lab.